Greetings everybody and today we're going to be evaluating the inverse to plus transform of this guy over here without using any partial fractions, just the residue theorem. So in a previous video I've shown that this formula is true when f of s um, can be expressed in terms of the quotients of two polynomials with the degree of the denominator being greater than the degree of the numerator. So in order to use this formula, we first have to find where the poles of this function are. And to do so, notice that this denominator, we can write this as s plus 3 and s minus 1, so just factoring it, which means we have poles at minus 3 and 1. So we can rewrite this using this formula, the sum of the residues, as being the residue at s is equal to minus 3. And now I'm just going to write f of s for now, times e to the st, and then we have another residue at s is equal to 1. So s is equal to 1 of f of s times e to the st, like so. And I want you to notice one thing, both of these poles are actually simple poles because we just have linear factors. So we can just use the formula for residues at simple poles on both of these. So that's going to be the limit as s approaches, first of all, minus 3 of s minus the pole, which is just s plus 3 in this case, times our function over here, which I'm going to write as s plus 4 over s plus 3 times s minus 1. And don't forget the e to the st, we still have that. And then we're going to add the second limit as s approaches 1 of s minus the pole, so s minus 1 times our function, which is s plus 4 divided by s plus 3, s minus 1, and don't forget your e to the st, and notice some cancellations can happen, this s minus 3 and s minus 3, this s minus 1 and s minus 1, and now we can just take the limits everywhere, so as s approaches minus 3, well minus 3 plus 4, that's 1, and then on the denominator, we have minus 3 minus 1, that's negative a quarter, so I'll just write it like this, and then we're going to have the e, as s approaches minus 3, we're going to get minus 3t. Alright, and on the second term over here, as s approaches 1, well, on the numerator, we're just going to get a 5. As s approaches 1 on the denominator, we're going to get 1 plus 3, which is a 4. And then as s approaches 1 over here, we're just going to get e to the t. And that is our final answer. No partial fractions needed, just the residue theorem. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see everyone later.